goalie. It is North London against West London, one of the biggest club matches in English football, and two teams who have enjoyed considerable success over the years. Stay tuned and we'll bring you all the action live from North London as Spurs face Chelsea. Two London clubs, but from different parts of the capital. Spurs from the north, Chelsea from the west, and our venue is the magnificent Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Derek Ray on the commentary gantry, Stuart Robson is positioned next to me, and Stuart, this should be fascinating. Well, as you mentioned, Derek, they're not exactly neighbours, but it's still a London derby, and one that has become very important to both clubs in recent years. This should be a very good game between two excellent teams. And Spurs will go with this starting 11. Hugo Lloris between the posts. Dejan Kulusevski plays with Hyung Min Son out wide. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Harry Kane. And this is how it looks for Chelsea. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre-backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. Well, decent effort, but not troubling the key. Felix. Havertz. And a good-looking ball. He's gone and found the net! Brilliant piece of finishing! Magnificent goal! Well, here's the replay. The pass over the top has just the right amount of pace on it, but there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. looking for the right moment for that final pass he'll try his luck here well it could have been a better on the ball Joao Felix oh that's a pass of high quality oh a smart stop Chich here's Havertz oh good work by the keeper is it away can he find the net? An easy one for Loris. Really well played pass. Kane. Can he get them level? Keeper had work to do. Son. Opportunity. Well, not making life difficult for the keeper. Oh, well, that's a well timed pass. Oh, terrific piece of goalkeeping. Can he put it away here? And Chelsea have done it! It's going to be so difficult to stop them now. Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space. And it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal.
and he's broken free. A goal! Another one! It's turning into an absolute demolition job. Well, as you can see, he's given far too much space, but he still had some work to do, and I think that's a very tidy finish. It was never in doubt. Havertz, really sound goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What? Well, the short corner routine. Terrific block. And Chelsea get the decision from the referee. Late towards the near post. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Kovacic. Now well, he's given us away. Eric Dyer. Spurs trying to use space to good effect. Son. And the referee has decided to add on a minimum of five minutes. Referees are rightly praised for giving advantage, but when there is no advantage, it has to be a free kick. And just losing control of the ball, and it will be a throw-in. Oh, now then Yuma. And intercepted it. Badi Achille. Chilwell. Mateo Kovacic. So the final whistle, and it's a story of defeat for Spurs in this one. What did you make of it all? Well, Derek, that just wasn't good enough today. A lack of a game plan, too many players below par, and not enough energy all around the pitch. A really worrying performance for me. Well, one thing we often say about Kai Havertz is that he's so very hard to silence, and that was the case in this game. Sum up his contribution for us. Well, I thought he was excellent. Not only did he score a good goal, but his general play was outstanding. He certainly played a major part in their win here today.